Coach, um, headed to the finals, the battle for the championship of women's tennis. How does that sound? Sounds awesome. Uh, I just, I can't believe it. I'm so blessed. Um, I just feel like uh, God is watching over this program and giving us opportunities to do something special. And, you know, we talked about last time, Oklahoma State's never won a women's national championship in any sport, although we've won as many national championships as just about anybody in the country. And, um, you know, that's been something I wanted to bring to Oklahoma State since day one. And I knew we had the potential with these girls uh, to do it. And they're showing everybody uh, that they're definitely capable. What did you uh, tell them after the match? I'm still at a loss for words. There's really not much to say. I mean, these girls know with everything we've been through this season, everything we've overcome, they know how proud I am of them. Um, I don't think I really have to say anything. I think they can see it on my face and they know um, what this means. You know, you get to this point in the journey, I don't think you really have to say a whole lot. Everybody just knows. And I think that's important. Coach, what does it say about the resiliency of, of your girls to fight back um, after not? Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's right. We talk about all the time, you know, that we've overcome a lot. And that's our theme for this whole tournament is overcome. And we had to overcome a lot. I and mean, we had to overcome a great Cal team. You know, they didn't play maybe as well as they wanted to in doubles. And they came out in singles. And you look up at the board and it's like, wow, this is not, not good. Um, but at the same time, I still trusted our girls. Um, I never was worried that Lushkova is going to lose the match, and I thought Bobic is going to turn hers around. And um, you know, for Kat and for Kelsey to get those two points, once those were in the bank, I knew we were good to go. Coach, uh, once again, doubles won, thirty-one one, um, but it comes a huge day again for you. Yeah, the doubles point was huge. Um, I thought at two and three, we honestly, I think we just did what we've been doing. I don't think the girls did anything special. I don't want to take away from them, but I thought they just played solid tennis. I think we're playing at doubles at a really high level. And um, I mean, we knew we needed to get that point. Obviously we did with the way that the score ended up, but you get that one point, our lineup's pretty strong. And at the top right now, our girls are playing as good as anybody. So when we get that doubles point, it puts a lot of pressure on teams at the top of the lineup to be able to get three wins. Victoria, talk about your match. Um, lose the first one, come back, win the second, and then that third set. Uh, just talk about that. And the first set, she was playing amazing. I mean, I didn't have much chances, and she was, I mean, she played unreal. Like, I couldn't even get to any balls. And then in the second set, I was just trying to get every ball back and fight for every point, and it kind of worked out. So I keep it rolling in the third set as well. And like the fans support and my teammates, it was like, it was, kind of giving me more energy and more like confidence in my game that I can do it. So I just kind of bring it all on the court. Coach, you had said yesterday that Victoria was playing as well as anybody in the country, um, or the other day, whenever that was. Um, how much confidence did you have in her when you, know, you knew it was going to come down to that? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> no one's going to beat Victoria right now. I just, I mean, that's just a fact. And, uh, you know, the thing about Victoria, she's had it so easy, you know, she's the first one off the court. And uh, I kind of joked with her after the first set. I said, today is your day to go to the interview room because, you know, you get to be the last one on the court um, because she's the first one. And, you know, that's why I wanted to bring Kat in here as well. I think sometimes uh, when people are doing things easy, it can go unnoticed. And, um, you know, I don't think Victoria should ever go unnoticed in our program. A lot of things that she's done, um, taking the role that she did of moving to number three this year is one of the reasons why we are where we are. Um, because we've got the doubles point and we've got Leshkova 98% of the time. And so when you're up 2-0, it's tough for anybody to get four out of five points. And, um, you know, I just think that it's a different person every day, but Victoria has been the most consistent throughout the season. And, um, you know, when she is match on the line, I mean, she's as tough as anybody. She's been that way since day one. She has no fear. And the girls give her a hard time because she just, like, keeps going for it. But that's what makes her special. And, I mean, Lynn Chi is a girl that's made the singles final two years ago. One of the best players in college since. I mean, that's a heavyweight battle. But at the end of the day, um, you know, I'll take Vicky every time. Cal, what's going through your mind whenever you get down with that first set and you see that Cal's won four sets and, you know, you're coming from behind? Well, I, I try to stay focused on my match. Uh, I, I believe that some of the girls will come back. I saw Kelsey had the first set, and I, I, I trust Vicky. I always trust in Vicky. And when we all finished, we were all standing there, all the girls. And I said, 
there's no one else I could trust more than Vicky in this moment. She's been there many times. She clinched so many big matches for us. And I mean, I, I had a trust in the girls since the beginning. Yeah, you put the team three up three two, I believe. So what what did you you looked at the scoreboard and saw what did, what did you what were you thinking at that time? Well, I, it was a good match for me and. I saw Vladi battling there in tie break, so I just ran there to to kind of support her to stay in it. And Vicky was three two up in that moment, so I, I still had I knew the Vicky has it. Okay, what was the key for you in the first set? You were down 0-2, and then what was the difference in four all that where you took it to the next level? Uh, if I if I recall good, I was four three in serving. I was 40-15, and. I missed some some shots that I shouldn't, but uh, I just stayed focused. I knew what I had to do. I had to follow my game plan that I had since the beginning, and uh, I just did that. I stayed focused, play each point, and yeah, it was it was good. Thank you. Katya, I lost that first set. What's kind of your mindset? You, you, you haven't lost too many sets here recently. I, I was kind of not surprised. I was like. Wow, she played amazing. Like I, I, on, like we had several games in use, but she would just play it like down the line or some amazing shots I couldn't even get to. And I was like, well, guess I just have to try my chances in the second set and see how that goes. And it worked well. You know, when Vicky came walking out of uh, the bathroom break, she was smiling and honestly didn't oh, yeah. smile that much. <laughs> no, it was. Match. And I was like, all right, that's good. <laughs> no, it was really funny. I went to the restroom and then Carla and Katie went in there and we were like, oh, great, where we would meet each other during a match. <laughs> so we were like, okay, let's try to bottle back and like win the second set. So that does kind of make us all laugh. And then I feel like we all start playing a little bit better. First of all, for Coach Young, and then if the players want to address this, just kind of the emotions of making it to the finals and what's it mean for this program? Um. I can't tell you what it means to this program. Uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, we're Oklahoma State, and we're taking out Georgia and Cal and teams that people just don't expect us to. I mean, I think we're we've been the only ones that believe that this is possible all year, and um, I just hope that we give hope to other people. You know, I think Vandy gave us a lot of hope last year. To be perfectly honest, I mean, we beat them during the regular season, and we saw them get hot and go on a run. And it's like, why can't that be us? And I told the girls all season long, we're this year's Vanderbilt. Um, we're doing the same things that they did. And um, I just, you know, I mean, I think that it's breaking barriers down is the hardest thing to do in sports. You know, because it's sports is lined up for certain teams whether it's professional or college to be successful you know everybody's supposed to go to these teams sign with these teams and uh, to break those barriers down you got to have special kids and that's what we have and um, I just um, I mean to look up there and to see the crowd support that we have um, it's amazing we got just amazing support and Oklahoma State's a special place and we're just all very fortunate to be there. Um, I remember since the day I came uh, they tried to put us down. They tried this year to put us down. We win the conference, we win the tournament. They find excuses how Oklahoma State has a weak Big 12 conference, how we didn't have decent opponents and you know they always try to put us down because we're Oklahoma State but I know that all of all nine players in our team have hearts and we just keep proving them wrong because we beat top teams and uh, it, that, that's what it, this means for us because we keep proving people wrong, that they are wrong about us, that we are good and we are not done yet, we're going all the way here. I, mean, I agree with Kat and it's always been like kind of our talk that no one really gives us much respect so when we went to this tournament like my only hope was that we can go as far as possible to just prove people that we a good program and we can do something special and I think we are on the way to do something that no one done before. And just to add, our conference is one of the strongest. We had three teams in Sweet 16, so <laughs> that says a lot about our conference, tournament and our conference. Coach, what was the point this season where you knew you, your team, the moment where you said, hey, this team can go all the way? You know, um, we had a moment in spring break where we just had 
some good discussions um, about what our ne team needed to do if we wanted to go all the way. And I told the girls, like, we can go all the way, but you guys got to make it happen. And, you know, we got to focus. And we kind of drew a line and said we're starting over. And since that time, I think we've won 18 matches in a row. Um, and honestly, I knew this team was capable that next weekend when we started Big 12 play. And even though it was West Virginia and Iowa State, we said that we were going to start over and we were going to send a message that what Oklahoma State's really all about. And, um, you know, each girl talked about what message they wanted to send and what they were going to do. And since that time, um, we've just played really well. And it's not never been a lack of talent. I think it's just a matter of belief um, because it's not, you know, we're doing something that's never been done before. And so um, it's just natural that you have to overcome that mental barrier. And as we started building and the girls started seeing it, and as we went on the road and we beat teams like Baylor and Texas, which you know we hadn't done before, the girls are starting to see this year is different. And the more that those things start to happen, the more you start to realize um, that something special is happening here. And we've had a lot of adversity, um, I think behind the scenes, different things to overcome. I think we've had a lot of pressure hosting the Big 12 tournament for the first time at our facility. Um, you know, there's a lot of pressure to host it well and to win it. And, um, you know, for this group to get back to the Sweet 16 and just dealing with those things. And I think once we got here, we just felt free. Like, it's like, let's just have fun with it. And um, I think we're a dangerous team right now because uh, we're so confident and these girls are confident. And um, it's going to be a great match tomorrow. Um, you, you dropped down to n number three singles this year. What's that been like for you, and how much sweeter is it now that it's paid off, I guess, heading to the national championship? I don't know. My life got easier. <laughs> no, um, I mean, it was – I didn't really thought about the numbers, like one, two, three, six. Uh, I was just playing the game, and, I mean, it was good for the team. We Like, I was giving, like, a point almost every time I played, so it was always for a team, and – if it gets us win faster or easier, I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs>